Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, we got I rate and improve your guys' team, episode I'm pretty sure 9. If you guys are new to this series and are new to my channel, it is a series where you guys send me your teams on Twitter, Evan Tanaka 10, and I give you guys a rating out of 10, either being a, a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, a 10, whatever it might be, and I give you suggestions and improvements for your guys' team to see what positions and what players you can upgrade. So if you guys are interested in being in this series and being in my next video, send it to me at send it to me on Twitter at Evan Tanaka 10, and make sure to send me your team and how much MT you have, maybe your play style, what positions you want to upgrade, but you don't have to, I can upgrade it and rate it in any way possible. So if you guys want to be involved with that, send it to Evan Tanaka 10 on Twitter. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. If you guys are new to my channel, we are on the road to 600 subscribers by the end of the year. So I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. We're getting close to that 600 subscriber goal, and I really do want to hit it before the end of the year. I post two to three my team videos every single day and give some of the best no money spent content, tips, and tricks on the platform. So make sure to subscribe down below. First team is sent in here by Shelly. So he sent him, uh, he sent it to me on Twitter. He said, yo, man, rate my team. I have a high 23 20 235k and he'd like to save as much as possible so we got 235k to work with but he wants to save as much as possible so we're going to try to do that first thing we do have to do is rate your team and guys i have a lot of teams sent into you guys which i appreciate y'all watching the videos and sending in the teams but i gotta get through these fast so i'm gonna go in detail but not crazy into detail because i think i have 15 to 20 teams to get through so Rating out of 10 for your team. I do like most of your positions. I do not like Siakam. I do not like DeAndre Aiden. And I do not like Chris Paul. But other than that, I like your teams. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. First thing to do, Suggs is just better than Chris Paul. So get rid of Suggs. Or sorry, get rid of Chris Paul. You'll save some MT and get Jalen Suggs. You already have Jalen Suggs, right? Then Book you can keep, Perry can keep. Now the two positions on the bench you want to get rid of is Siakam and DeAndre Aiden. And you just pick up LeBron James. Again, you want to save as much MT as possible. He's really, really cheap. And now for center, you do have to go a bit more expensive. Go Josh Smith. He's maybe 15K, 20K at most. So there you go. And then for that, honestly, I mean, if you want to save as much MT as possible, I think you're good to go with that team. Yeah, if you want to save as much MT as possible, I would just move Suggs to uh, the one, get rid of Chris Paul, pick up LeBron and Josh Smith, and I think your team is a lot, lot better. Thank you, Shelly, for sending your team on to the next team. Next team comes in from, I think it's how you say, J. So it comes in from Jay. He sent it to me on Twitter, of course. And he said, um, this is his team. He didn't say how much MT he has. So guys, make sure to tell me how much MT you have. But he does have 160K in the top right. So that's what we're going to work off. So if you don't tell me your MT, I'm just going to look at the screenshot you send and just go off that. So make sure to tell me how much MT you have down below. Or sorry, make sure to tell me how much MT you have when you send me the team. So it's just a lot easier for me in the process. So for rating your team, I don't know why you're starting DeAndre Jordan over, or sorry, DeAndre Aiden over Porzingis. Porzingis is a lot better, but I'm going to go off what you have right now. Um, I do like your team. Zion's okay. Joel Embiid's okay. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The first thing I do is get rid of Aiden and just put Porzingis in there. I mean, Porzingis is just better than Aiden, and <clears throat> Aiden in my opinion. Next thing to do is get rid of Louis Dampier. He's just not good. And you have 160K. But to go on the cheaper side, just pick up that snow card. That guy, this Eric snow card is actually really, really good. He's like 5 to 7K MT. He is really, really good. And I like your bench a lot. And starting, Zion's just not good. And Embiid is just not good, to be honest with you. Um, if you, if you like having your team kind of expensive, you want a good team, just pick up the Kembe over Embiid. The Kembe's, the Kembe's a lot better than Embiid. And then for your starting four, you honestly could just move LeBron to starting power forward. And then Latrell Spearwell, I'm not the biggest fan of. Sleep before, I'm not the biggest fan of either, but I think you're going to have to move him. And then for backup four, there's a bunch of different options you could go with, but I'm going to recommend probably a Josh Smith. I feel like you could play a good power forward role in your in your, in your your bench. And then I guess you could just keep sleeping in Latrell Spreewell. I'm not the biggest fan of Latrell. Um, I'm assuming you don't have Harden, but you could look up to pick up a Jalen Brown or a Kobe's a bit too expensive. But I would maybe pick up a Jalen Brown there. So thank you, Jay, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from Noah, and he said on Twitter he has about 100K in MT auctions. So we're going to work with 100K MT and this team. For the rating, I think this team is very, very well construction, constructed, except for one position. If you have LeBron James over Serge Ibaka, you go up 0.5. But since you have Serge Ibaka at the start at the back of four, I don't understand why you have Serge Ibaka at the back of four over LeBron James. This team is only an eight. But if you have like that's how big of this like Serge Ibaka can just not play the power forward. He just cannot play the power forward. I love Isaiah Thomas. I love Dominic. I love Graham. I like every single position but your Serge Ibaka. 
so if you have lebron in here it's an 8.5 so i'll give you an 8.5 if you just do that if you do that you have an 8.5 you have 100k to work with honestly dude I, i'm just gonna give you a rating i don't think you really need to upgrade anything to be to be to be 100 percent honest with you unless you want to make like a big upgrade and you're really trying to like i don't know push for like um i don't know you're trying to like you know go 12 or something maybe just pick up a miles turner over porzingis because miles turner is definitely better than porzingis he is a bit expensive but if you just want like a little bit better of a center to give you a little bit better edge you could go with that and if maybe if you want a better power forward you could look at picking up like an ak instead of um instead of miles turner like you could pick up an ak um if you really want to like keep porzingis and go ak at the four um there's a bunch of different options you could go but honestly dude i think your team is really really good i'm gonna give you an 8.5 out of 10 if you have lebron james over serge Ibaka. so thank you noah for sending in your team on to the next one next team here is from berlin he sent me his team on twitter he has 75k mt to upgrade at least he may have more but he wants 75k to upgrade so we have 75k budget now team steph curry is obviously really good jerry lucas and alonzo morning just aren't very good deandre Ayton's okay lamar odom's okay I'm going to give this team an 8, maybe a 7.5. There's just a bunch of positions you need to upgrade. The first thing is Alonzo Mourning sucks, in my opinion. Again, if I'm saying the card sucks and you really like the card, then keep the card. But for me, I'm just saying what cards I believe aren't good and what are good. If you don't want to agree, you don't not have to agree at all. I think Jerry Lucas sucks as well. I think DeAndre's okay, but we're going to get rid of him. Especially you have 75k, we can make a pretty good budget. Um, sell Lamar Odom, sell DeAndre Aiden. You can't really sell. I mean, sell Alon Alonzo Mourning. So if you sell all of them, I'm going to say you have at least another 50k MT. So I'm going to give myself um, 125k around to work with. If you don't want to spend it, you only want to spend 75, then that's fine. So I'm going to keep these these positions. I think these positions are fine. Um, for power forward, for backup power forward, you're definitely going LeBron James. He is very, very good. And then at backup center, you're going to go um, Josh Smith. I think Josh Smith is also very, very good at backup center. At starting center, I'm going to give you a, a more expensive MT option. We're going to go with Miles Turner. We're going to give you a nice, good center to work with here. I think Miles Turner is very good. Uh, he's going to need more of your budget, but I feel like that is okay. We're going to move Glenn to the four, and we're going to pick up Kawhi Leonard. If that is too expensive for you, you can just replace Kawhi with um, Bowen, or if you have ML Carr, you could go that as well. But I would go Kawhi over Bowen, but if, or Bowen, but if you... If that's too expensive, you might save 10k MT. You could go with Bowen over Kawhi. If you want to save some MT with Miles Turner, you could go Chris Stops as well. But if you want to make a big upgrade, go with Miles Turner. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of Sleepy, so I would recommend a Eric Snow. I, like I would generally play Eric Snow over Sleepy Floyd, so you could do that as well if you want to to save some. Not MT, but you know he's just a cheaper card. Um, you don't have to go buy a D Rose or go buy Isaiah Thomas. You could also do that as well if you want to spend a lot of MT. You have a bunch of different ways to go. Just pause the screen, look what I said, watch back what I said, and this is the team I think you should run with. These are my options. Thank you, Berlin, for sending in your team on to the next one. Next team here is from M MF Chasen. Can't really say the what I think the actual abbreviation is or whatever, but um, let's see here. So he's, he just got Mitchell for the bench, and now he has 11K to work with. So this is the team we made with Donovan Mitchell off the bench, and he's 11K to work with. So for your rating out of 10, again, the only position I don't really like is Serge Ibaka, but he's fine at center. Like, he's fine at center. He's just hair up power forward, but he's fine at center. Um, I'm going to give this team an 8. I, uh, it's between a 7.5 and an 8. It's a very well-constructed team. It's just the tiers are a little bit lower, but the cards are really, really good. So I'm going to give it an 8, 8 out of 10. I really do like this team. I think it's way, really good, well, well, well-rounded. Um... And the only position I would upgrade, dude, is just that backup center. I, I think every other position is fine with the amount of MT you have. I would just try to scoop up Porzingis. Porzingis is just better than Serge Ibaka. He's just a taller Serge Ibaka. So he's 7'3 compared to Serge Ibaka 6'10. His three balls like three lower. I think he has like around the same badges. He's 7'3. That's all I really need to say compared to Serge Ibaka. Um, and I think your team is really, really solid, man. So thank you, MF Chasen, for sending in your team. Nice, nice team, bro. Really solid. On to the next one. Next team here is from Mike or Michael. He sent it to me on Twitter, of course. Um, this is a team he's got 400k to work with, and he's probably going to get KD soon. So, again, he's got a really, really good team, as you guys can see. So, out of 10, this team is probably a 9 out of 10. 
maybe even a 9.5. I just don't know about Carr and Glenn Robinson for being the best team in the game, right? Again, really solid team. But if ML Carr is Kirilenko and Glenn Robinson is KD, and then maybe, and that, that's probably literally like the best team in the game. But those are like big, big upgrades. So that's why I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. If he picks up KD and Kirilenko, this could literally be the best, one of the best teams in the game. I mean, I probably wouldn't run Bird, maybe not Miles Turner, maybe like an AD, but hey, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I think this team is really, really good. If he has 400k to work with, um, if he wants to go a big upgrade and just get KD and then move Glenn to the backup three or even keep Carr because he wants a lock, I think that's perfectly fine. The only suggestion I would have is if you're not going to go KD, just upgrade Miles Turner to an Anthony Davis or a Chris Webber. I think he's just better than those two guys. I think Anthony Davis or Chris Webber is just better than um, Miles Turner. If you like Miles Turner, I know a lot of people do like that Miles Turner card. So if you're one of those people, which I mean, I, I would agree with, he's very, very good. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of him. Well, I, I, like I'm a big fan of him, but I'm not like I like AD a lot more. So I would definitely go AD. Bird, Bird's still solid. Um, that small forward position you could upgrade. You could go a lock at that small forward, uh, but you know you have Gary Payne, so you should be fine there. So yeah, I would just recommend pick up that backup center or go big and get that Kevin Durant. You could also look at a Clay Thompson um, for your team. He's about 200 KMT, and you could pick up a Clay Thompson and maybe replace a Vince Carter or Kobe Bryant. Um, I think I'd probably replace Vince Carter. I think Kobe's just that little bit better than Vince. So I'd probably get rid of Vince and put in Clay. If you don't want to go Kevin Durant, you could just go Anthony Davis and Clay Thompson. And there you go. So thank you, Mike, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team comes in here from Crips. Um, I think his name's someone on Twitter, though. So it's a bit different. He's it's up here. So he said um, he said he just changed, I think it's empty. He's got 110 K MT to work with. And this is his team. So once again, a very well he watches the video a lot. So he's got a very well constructed team um, like this is a very well constructed team. This is an 8.5 out of 10. This is a very well constructed team. You got two good point guards. You got a, um, a lock on both lines. Um, you got James Harden, great defender. You got Kawhi Leonard, Kirilenko. What I would probably do is I would probably just change this around though. I'd put Kawhi off the bench just to give yourself an actual lock. Um, you have scoring, 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 and then Kirilenko would be your, actually, now nah, you kind of have the same problem. I, I would go, I, I would just keep it like that. So you have 110K to work with. So rating out of 10, I gave it a 8 or 8.5, one of the two, but it's a really good team. For upgrades though, you have 110K to work with. There's really no position I see like necessary, necessary. The one position I would I would definitely get is uh, Donovan Mitchell. He's just better than Chris Mullen in every single way possible, except for shooting the basketball, but he does everything else better. Um, I think that just gives you a little bit more offense off the starting lineup because you had Chris Mullen. That means your only guy who could score the ball with the ball in their hands is Jason Terry. Now you have Donovan Mitchell. Now you have a second guy who could just go out there and get you a bucket when you needed. If you had Chris Mullen, he couldn't really do that. So now you got Donovan Mitchell. He's going to go out there and get you an absolute bucket. I think the rest of the team is, I think the rest of your team is fine. If you want to go all out, you could look at, you could look to get a Miles Turner or a Dikembe Mutombo to upgrade that uh, center position. Spencer Dinwiddie is nice, but if you don't like him, if you're not the biggest fan of him, you could look at a Drew Holiday. If you want to go really cheap, you could look at an Eric Snow or you could look at a DeJounte Murray as well. I think they're all around the same as Spencer Dinwiddie in like skill and how good they are. I think it just comes down to what play style and what do you like to play with. So thank you, Crips, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from Nebby. And of course, he sent to me his team on Twitter. I just like showing you guys that they actually sent it to me on Twitter. I'm not just making random teams and calling people random names. I just want to show you guys that there's actually people sending him teams and stuff. Um, so he's got 15K to work with. And this is his team right here. Um, so I looked at this team before a little bit. I think it's a very well constructed team as well um, There's no really weak spots in your team except for LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge is your only weak spot Which is going to be the position we upgrade um, So I'm gonna give this team an 8 out of 10 I feel like just LaMarcus Aldridge is a little bit not the best But I feel like the rest of your positions are pretty pretty good. The team Loki could be an 8.5 as well So I'm gonna give it around an 8 to 8.5 if you just replace LaMarcus Aldridge and pick up a Porzingis or a Josh Smith I think this team becomes an 8.5 out of 10 very easily. So Josh Smith. Um, is, yeah, this seems like an 8, 8 or 8.5 out of 10. I like Walt. I like your point guards. I like your shooting guards. I like your small forwards. I like your power forwards. And I like your centers now. So thank you, Nebby, for sending your team. You have a very well-constructed team. Only you really need to upgrade that backup center. Thank you for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from my team, Maniac. And he sent his team on Twitter, of course. So my team, Maniac, I think it's actually his name. Um, he sent in his team. How much MT do you say you have? 100K MT to work with. He plays next gen. So 100K team to work with, but the rating out of 10 guys, this is a very solid team. I'm going to give this team an 8.5, maybe even a 9. I, I, this, this very well could be a 9, 9 out of 10. 
Um, 100k to work with. There's really only one position I see to upgrade, and that would be your backup small forward. And just pick up a, like a. I mean, you, you could go a bunch of different ways here. For me, I think you just need to upgrade car and just pick up a Kawhi Leonard. I think he's just a better car, um, and you're gonna spend a bit of MT, but you should save your MT. This team is very good. So thank you, my team, Maniac, for sending your team. I would just replace car and pick up Kawhi, and I think that improves your team a little bit. So thank you for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from my team Zone, and he sent his team on Twitter, of course, and he said he's got a couple placeholders, but he's got 50 KMT to work with. So he wants to basically, you know, get a small forward and get a center. Um, those are the two positions he wants to get. And rating out of 10, it's hard to give the rating. I'm just going to exclude the two gold cards. Again, Serge Ibaka at the four. I just don't understand why people are running Serge Ibaka at the four. Uh, but anyways, other than that, I think I'll give him a 7.5. Uh, I think, again, Serge Ibaka just hurts you a lot. If you didn't have Serge Ibaka at the four, you had him at the five. This would be an eight out of 10. But I can only give you a 7.5 out of 10 because he's at the four. So obviously we want to replace the, the golds and the, the, the two golds, right? So what I'm going to do with you have how much MT? How much MT do you have? You have 50 KMT. Okay. So what I would do for your team is probably just move Serge Ibaka to the five, pick up LeBron James um, Ruby card. You know, we, we always pick up LeBron James Ruby card and then probably just pick up a Kawhi Leonard. That's probably what I would do. Um, you're going to get a great player in Kawhi Leonard. You're going to get a great player in LeBron James. You have good offense off your bench. You have good... You have good offense in these two, you have good defense in these two, and you have an all-around big. If you want to spend a little bit more and upgrade your team fully, I would pick up a Josh Smith over Serge Ibaka. He is a lot better than Serge Ibaka. So if you want to like spend all your 50 KMT, that's what I would do. If you make this team, that team is like really, really elite. I really do like this team. If you change the uh, make the changes I said in this video, but thank you, my team zone, for sending your team on to the next one. Next team here is from Nick on Twitter, of course, and he sent me his team on Twitter. And he said, this is the squad that has 38 goals and I've got 100K. So he's got 100K with Kobe selling. Remember to rate it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, of course, Nick. Um, but yeah, uh, 100K and Kobe selling. So I'm assuming you have 100K plus Kobe selling. So I'll give you I'll give you 200K at least. I mean, Kobe probably sells for a bit more, but I'm going to say with tax taken off, I'm going to say you have 200K to work with. And rating out of 10, I think this team is a 9 out of 10. It's very well, very, very well constructed. There's just a few positions. If you were to upgrade, it would make it the better team. Uh, but with about 200k to work with, there's really not a lot of places you can go. The, like, because again, all these cards are so good. There's really no position really to upgrade with 200k. If you wanted to make a big upgrade, like, it's just it's just hard to go with. Um, I mean, what you could maybe try to do is sell the Kemba Matumbo, uh, get a lot of funds together, um, and try to pick up a D Rob. If you could pick up, no, <laughs> I typed in D Rob. Um, if you pick up. This David Robinson, hold on, my thing's being weird. If you pick up a David Robinson, like you sell Clay, you sell you sell your Dikembe Mutombo, not 75th anniversary. That one's that one goes for a lot. But um, if you can, this David Robinson, I think it's only about 400k at most. Like at most 400k, I think he's about 350k, 300k on Xbox at least. Um, if you can sell Dikembe Mutombo, you already have 100k. You have Kobe selling. If you can sell Dikembe and Kobe, maybe you can sell some other stuff. Get yourself 300, 350k. You should be able to pick up that D Rob, and I think that makes the team a 9.5 out of 10. Of course, you'd want to start D Rob. Then you have literally almost one of the best teams in the game, just like you're missing a KD, and that's pretty much it. So thank you for sending your team, Nick. On to the next one. Next team here is from Damien on Twitter, of course, and he sent me his team, and he didn't say the MT amount. Okay, so he didn't say the MT amount. He has 35k, so that's what we will work with. Uh, make sure again, guys, to send your team, send your MT on Twitter with with your team. So we got 35k to work with, but rating out of 10. The only position I don't like is, well, I, I like a le Serge Ibaka is fine, but other than that, it's pretty much fine. I would just run Miles Bridges at the four and quiet at the three. That's just a better positioning. But I'm going to give him a 7.5, maybe, probably not, probably an eight. I'll give him an eight out of 10. The only position I would really upgrade is just get rid of Gary Harris, pick up a Donovan Mitchell, and then put him over Jimmy Butler. That's just a lot better. Um, actually, maybe maybe for your team, like if you want to lay out your team, like um, construct your team a lot better, you probably want to have Jimmy Butler with Steph Curry just to give yourself a little bit more defense because Steph Curry... Steph Curry in the game can be a little bit of liability on defense, and then Donovan Mitchell can be your scoring off the bench, and then replace Serge Ibaka and just pick up a Porzingis. He's just a lot better than uh, Serge Ibaka. He'll give you a lot more scoring. He's got he's seven foot three. He's going to give you a lot more rim protection. He's just a better Serge Ibaka in my opinion. But thank you, Damien, for sending in your team. On to the next one. Next team here is from Dodo on Twitter. Of course, he sent me his team, and let's see how much empty he has. So he's got 15k and this team to work with. Not a lot of MT to work with, but I can see he does have a pretty good team here. He's got that pink diamond David Robinson, which is insane. Um, he's got LeBron AK. So this team out of 10 is, is an 8.5 out of 10, mainly due to the fact that you got David Robinson. Um, and some, there's some really other good pieces. I'm going to give this team an 8.5 out of 10. 
with what 15k to work with there's not really a place you can really upgrade uh, maybe just pick up a, a drew holiday an eric snow um a fred van vliet uh a Jante Murray just upgrade that backup point guard a little bit and I think you'll be good to go Dodo but thank you for sending in your team on to the next one the last and final team here guys is from Anthony and oh my god the pink diamonds on my screen are what the hell this guy's got that pink diamonds out the asshole what this man's got pink diamonds bro holy this guy just said hey I'm going pink diamonds okay 350k to work with Damn, do you got some better diamonds, or are you just you just all pink diamond, bro? Holy shit! Okay, so we're selling a bunch of a bunch of these guys, cause holy. Okay, so out of ten, you guys are gonna be surprised. This is only like an eight point five. I'm gonna give us an eight point five out of ten because of the fact Westbrook's okay, Jordan's okay, Crombler's okay, Weber's good, but the four is okay. He's good at the four. Cream's oh, Cream's ass. Like Anthony Davis is really good. So if you put Anthony Davis there, you're fine. Vince Carter is good as well. So what I would do is put Vince to the starting two. Put AD to the starting center. Again, it beats ass. So sell Embiid, sell Kareem, sell Jordan, and sell Westbrook. You don't need those cards. What you're going to do is put Chris Webber at the backup five. You're probably not going to play Chris. Actually, we, might, we, might, we may play Chris Malta too. You're not going to play uh, Grom Butler, and you're not going to play Stoudemire. So if we sell Jordan, Westbrook, Embiid, Kareem, I'm going to assume that's like 400K at least, maybe 500K. So I'm going to have like 700K to work with. Honestly, bro, you can make a really nice team. So you're going to pick up Kirilenko here. 100% going to pick up uh, Kirilenko. And then you're going to pick up an Isaiah Thomas. If, if you do like Pete Maravich a lot, like you like three-point hunting guards, then go with a Steph Curry. I think Isaiah Thomas is better than Steph Curry. But if you're big on the three-point hunting guards, then go with Steph Curry. So we spent about Isaiah Thomas and Kirilenko together. I mean, I wouldn't, sorry, I would not get masked. Um, I wouldn't get masked. I'd just get normal one. That's about 200K right there between those two. And then you want to out of Steph Curry that's a little more than Isaiah Thomas so let's just go with my suggestion so that's 200k so we still got about 500k to work with here and we only have one position to upgrade which is kind of crazy um you're just gonna you're gonna pick up Dolph Dolph is really really good um pick up non non mass Dolph and that's a really really good team um if you want to even go more upgrade you could go like a Kobe Bryant over Chris Mullen um you could go a Donovan Mitchell over Chris Mullen you could go oh actually i know what to recommend you sorry not kobe bryant we're going clay thompson i forgot we got a mr clay you're going clay thompson you're putting that you're putting that man to the starting lineup why do you type in play you're we're going clay you're gonna go clay thompson over um vince carter here so we're gonna go clay and we're gonna move him to the starting lineup there and then i would get rid of vince loki and sell vince because i personally believe donna mitchell's better than vince um so what you'd want to do is probably probably put kobe in here just because you need a little bit more height off the bench there because you can't really run Donovan Mitchell and Isaiah Thomas. So I'd probably pick up Kobe. You could look at Donovan Mitchell as well. But this Loki like is one of the best teams in the game. Like literally, if you had if you have Gary Payne, you, you could maybe even pick up a D Rob to be honest with you. If you want to go crazy man, like if you just want to go absolutely insane and have the best team in the game, you could look up to pick up a David Robinson and put him at starting and then put AD off the bench. Again, that's if you saw sell trust me bro. Sell all the pink diamonds you had because those are just not good. <clears throat> it's like trust me, Isaiah Thomas is better than that Westbrook. Kobe Bryant, Donovan Mitchell are both better than Michael Jordan. Clay Thomas is better than Michael Jordan. Uh Kieran Linko is better than um who'd you have the three? I think it's like Vince Carter or something. He's better. A D is way better than uh Kareem, way better than uh Embiid, right? Just just pick uh, Chris Webber is way better than those guys at the center. You could also sell, if you want to pick up an AD and a D Rob, then you can sell Chris Webber, get more funds there. Chris Webber is like 150, 200K. That can help you help, help towards D Rob. Like, I generally believe you can make this team. If you sell the pink diamonds I told you to sell, you can very well make this team. And literally, if you get Gary Payne, you literally have the best team in the game. If you get Gary Payne, you have the best team in the game. That is crazy to say. That was a crazy one to finish off on. I'm actually really hyped that that was the last one we finished up on. Uh, thank you, Anthony, for sending your team. I I'll talk to you on Twitter, man, because I really want to see what your team can turn out to be because you could literally make the best team in the game. Like, you had an okay team to start with. Man, man, you can make a so much better team. Like, your team was okay to start. This team is definitely a 9.5 out of 10, almost a 10 out of 10. I've never even seen a team like this. Like, the amount of MT and how much pink. I don't know how the hell you even got that much MT. But thank you for sending your team. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Many more of these ranking series to come down below. Or sorry, to come in the future. If you do want to send me your team on Twitter, send it to me at evantanaka10 on Twitter. Send me your team and how much MT you have. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.